Creating an accordion in CSS3 allows for multiple sets of information and media elements to be displayed in a compact and slick manner. From buttons and boxes to images and full screen videos, this CSS accordion is incredibly versatile and simple to create. Plus, this accordion is completely responsive and will work natively across screen sizes and devices. The accordion is completely powered by basic checkboxes, which is what makes the element suitable across devices and web browsers. All you need to create this accordion are an accordion container to hold the expandable options, style checkboxes that become the expandable options, and the internal content holders that display and hide when the expandable options are toggled. Let's begin by creating the accordion holder. We'll create a class called accordion holder, give it a max width of 480 pixels, margin of 30 pixels, top and bottom, and auto for right and left. Next, let's create the accordion label, which will be the clickable option that expands and contracts the internal containers. Set the display to block, position to relative, padding of 10 pixels all round, and set the cursor to pointer. For this example, let's give it a background of light grey. Now, let's add these elements to our HTML as divs so we can see what we have. You'll notice the light grey option box has appeared. Of course, nothing yet happens when you click it. We'll bring this to life in a few seconds. Let's also create the internal container that will toggle when the option is clicked. Set the display to block and initially the height to 0 pixels since we don't want the box to show till after the option has been clicked. Let's give it a side padding of 15 pixels and set the background to yellow. Let's also make sure that any content exceeding the internal container's height does not flow over so we set the overflow to hidden for the time being. And that is basically the building block of the accordion. Now for our functionality. Create a new div. Then within this div create an input with the type checkbox. Let's also give this checkbox's label the title Applications. I'll explain how the ID and name attribute work in a little bit. Let's also add the inside container element to our HTML. And we'll add some placeholder text which will show when the Applications option is checked. So what we have is our overall accordion container. Then we have a div that holds our checkbox which when clicked and unclicked toggles our internal container. And finally our internal container itself. Because our label for the checkbox is functional, we have to tell our CSS to target that label's attribute. If this sounds confusing, don't worry, it'll make sense really soon when we see it in action altogether. So here we have our checkbox with the label Applications. Notice that to check the box we can click on either the box itself or directly on the label, i.e. the word Applications. This feature of HTML, which allows clicking directly on the label, is the magic behind this accordion. Once we understand that we can target the element's label to make it do the work, we can now target our accordion holder's class label by simply adding the same class name. Now we can see the label has taken on the properties of our accordion holder. Its width is 480 pixels and the background is grey. And anywhere on this label is clickable. Therefore, we no longer need the actual checkbox anymore since the label is already performing the function. To remove the checkbox itself, let's target our accordion holder's class's input and set the display to none. This removes the box but keeps the label that is still clickable. Now all we need is for the internal container to show when the label is clicked. If we set the height to 100 pixels, you'll see the internal container as it's supposed to look like when the label is clicked. So let's set the height back to 0 pixels as its initial state. In order to have the internal container show up when the label is clicked, we target the input checked item, then use the tilde sign, which selects the inside container element as a sibling. Here we can set the height of the internal container to say 250 pixels and give the overflow property a value of scroll so that those neat scroll bars will show up when the content is more than 250 pixels long. And there we have our accordion. Clicking the label Applications causes the inside container height to switch from 0 pixels to 250 pixels. Unchecking the label toggles the height back to 0 pixels. 
That is the basics of the CSS accordion. If you're comfortable with the code so far, you can exit the tutorial. If you'd like a little more insight though, then please carry on with me. So far we have a basic accordion whose contents appear and disappear. What we'd like is for the inside container to slide open and close. To achieve this, we first add the transition property to the inside container class and set the value to all, 0.3 seconds and ease. Now our inside container slides or transitions in and out. We also want more options in our accordion. To do this, simply copy paste the first options code then change the ID for this new checkbox to something unique. I'll call it tab2. The ID attribute differentiates each option within the accordion, but the name attribute tells the browser that all these options belong to the same set or group. That is why the name remains the same for all of the options in the accordion. We can now change the label for option 2 to timeline. Now we have two options in our accordion, Timeline and Applications. Both can be toggled to reveal their respective contents. We can add more content to say the Timeline option and the accordion automatically adds scroll bars. What might look better on the label is a change in background color that tells the user a particular option has been selected. To achieve this, simply add a hover pseudo class to our accordion holder's label. Add a new background color, red in this case, and add a transition property value pair to our original label. Now when a user hovers over an option, the option changes color. Let's add some more basic styling to give our accordion a nicer appearance. How you style your accordion is entirely up to you once the basic functionality of the checkbox has been set up. Remember, it's the ability to click on a checkbox or radio set's label that allows us to build this accordion. It might be nice to also have a plus minus sign near our title that changes when the user expands or closes the option. To achieve this, first create your property input type equals checkbox and target your label with a before pseudo class. Create a content property and give it a value of the plus sign within single quotes. This adds a plus sign to all our titles. For the minus sign to show when the label is clicked, we simply recreate the same input property and add the checked attribute, which now tells the browser that when the label is in a checked state, add the minus sign to the titles. But when the label is in an unchecked state, revert to the plus sign. At this stage, we've learned the simple functionality of the accordion and also some basic as well as more advanced styling code. In this final section, I'll show you how easy it is to embed a YouTube, Vimeo or self-hosted video into one of your options. Let's first create another option by copy-pasting an existing one. Change the ID to tab 3 and let's give this latest option the title Video. For the inside container, let's use an iframe tag. Set the width attribute to 400 without the px, height to 225, so we have our 16 by 9 aspect ratio. Leave the source attribute blank for now, and the allow full screen attribute, set that to allow full screen. Back to the source attribute, add the URL of your video. If you're using a YouTube video, please note, copying the URL directly will not work. You have to delete the watch equals string and simply add slash embed slash right before the unique ID which each YouTube video has. Then add question mark controls equal one to allow your users to pause, scrub and full screen the video. Setting controls equals zero takes away the controls and only shows the video playback screen. And there's our option with our embedded video. If you'd like your video to be centered in the box, the simplest way is to wrap it in P tags and set the style to text align center. Just remember, video elements can be tricky, so keep the width to a mobile friendly dimension as far as possible. As we've seen, creating a powerful accordion to hold all kinds of elements and media types is very useful and easy in pure CSS. Most of the effort goes in the styling, since the functionality is purely through checkboxes. 
The entire code for this tutorial is in the comments. Have fun with your CSS accordion, and if you have any questions, please ask. Thank you for watching, and see you next time.